Welcome back. You're watching Road to Success, the key to your next level in business. Our expert is Mugure Yibuku of Gowe. Karibu sana. Thank you, Kat. Thank you for joining us. I'm happy to be here. Tell us about Gowe. What's Gowe? Gowe is a program that supports women. In full, Gowe stands for the Growth Oriented Women Enterprises Program. As the name suggests, Gowe targets women who are looking to grow their businesses and GOE then gives them support to run their businesses professionally and to take their businesses to the next level. GOE is but one program that is managed by AMSCO. AMSCO is an acronym for the African Management Services Company Limited. And that's why we invited you to talk about women and business. This is a myth that seems to surround women in business and women and business, yeah? And since you've been a program coordinator for very many years and you've worked with women, tell us why, what is this myth and why is there a myth? It's not really a myth because by virtue of our society, women have long been expected to be homemakers. The fact that you're a player or that you are an entrepreneur in a male-dominated world shouldn't bother you as a woman. It shouldn't make you change your femininity. It has been found, really, that when a woman maintains her femininity, and I remember attending a talk by one of the prominent women in Nairobi a couple of months ago, and she mentioned that whenever she's going for a meeting and the meeting is going to have a lot of men, she will ensure that she turns up for the meeting looking as feminine as possible. And that there, is, um, I think, trying to break the myth that um, you need to be like a man to compete with men. Having worked with women, um, having done the trainings and the networking and the workshops, yeah. what, what is the most common issue that is presented to you mm -hmm. that affect women in business? Mm -hmm. There are actually two main issues that we have found, and I will talk a little later about what we have started to try and mitigate this challenge. Women will generally mention two challenges whenever you're speaking to them. The first challenge is finances from two aspects. One is just the whole bookkeeping, record keeping, accounting challenge, understanding figures, understanding what are management accounts, why do I need them and what can I possibly do with them. The other bit around finances is just accessing finance for the women to get finances to grow their business. That's a huge challenge that women are all, always grappling with. What is that challenge? In terms of going into a bank, believe it or not, um, in the 60s and the 70s, whenever a businesswoman would walk into a bank and request a loan, they would be required to have their husband sign the loan application form because it was expected and actually the banking industry behaved like the woman was an appendage, a part of the man, not a woman in her own right. Um, getting financing has been made easier, a little easier these days because women have realized that they need to run their businesses formally, professionally. So you will find that women now register their businesses. The business is an entity on its own. The woman is a majority shareholder in the business and she can sign documents for the business in her own right. So that has negated the need for the man or for any of these other cultural uh, requests from the banks. The landscape these days is changing considerably and you will find that there are banks that are beginning to recognize that women do have this need of accessing financing and you have banks like Equity for example which now have the Fanikisha loan which they offer predominantly to women. Actually it's only for women. The fact that a woman can now get a Fanikisha loan has changed the circumstances under which women are operating and now with the Fanikisha loan they are actually able to build empires just by making use of that financing that is now available to them. Women out there need to make use of this money that is available. They need to organize themselves in groups and they need to get together and actually go out and apply. There has been a, a, what I would call a fallacy that it's difficult to get this money from the Women's Fund. But the truth is that if you fulfill the requirements the money is yours for the taking. It's not rocket science. You just need to find out what the requirements are, organize yourself as such so that you're fulfilling the criteria and you can get the money. Mugure, what else should women know 
if they want to take their businesses to the next level or even want to start up something, yeah. what else? Tell us one or two things that they should know. I think it's important for women to recognize that you can't do it alone. And in fact, you're not expected to do it alone. You're not expected to go it alone. There are so many associations out here that support women. Associations that give women the opportunity to go out there and to put themselves out there. But if you sit within your micro enterprise and you think that I'm struggling with this and I have to struggle with it by myself and nobody can help me, then you will not get to the next level. There are so many associations out there and I often introduce women to these associations and they come back with wonderful stories and say if it wasn't for this association I wouldn't be where I am right now. So the important thing is for women to realize that there's a wealth of information out there. The opportunities are endless but if you don't step out your front door, if you don't put yourself out there, if you don't seek the information then you will never know and you can never benefit from it but it's never it's not a journey entrepreneurship is not a journey that you're expected to take um, uh, to travel by yourself. There's lots of support out there. You just need to go out and find it by getting in touch with all the relevant people. Thank you so much, Mogure. You're welcome, we really Catherine. I appreciate you coming. Talk to us about women and de demystifying this um, issue of women and business. Really, there's nothing uh, to it. And any woman can really start and run a very, very successful businesses. Surprise. Absolutely. There's no reason why we shouldn't be up there. Uh, along with the rest of the men. Thank you. We must invite you again. Thank you. Thank you for watching Road to Success, the K2 